two, one. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Okay. All right. So what's up? What's been what's been going on? We can talk about whatever's now. Whatever's. Yeah. Um. Anything in your life? Anything Any in up- my life? Any updates? Nah, bro. Well. nah, bro. Everything's been cooling, you know. The Rudders gang. Yeah, that's about it. You ever steal from there? Gains money, bro. I've Not been yet. stole from Rudders. <laughs> <laughs> Your employer's gonna see this, sure. yeah, bro. But thing that's that's like, I, can I curse? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Thing fun. that's bullshit about working at Rudders though. We don't get no benefits, bro. <laughs> like, like we're allowed to get free drinks, but that's if we have our employee mug with us, bro. That's it. We don't get no discount. We don't get nothing. Bro, I'd be like, all right, so my girlfriend's aunt works there too. Oh, yeah? She was like, I'm going to order me a hot dog. You make me 12 wings, one wrap, and like five uh, mozzarella cheese sticks. Because you have to have a receipt of what you buy. But okay. like, she beat the system, bro. How? <laughs> Just by buying one hot dog and telling uh, Nash to make her all of that stuff. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah, yeah. I saw this uh, this uh thing on the internet, right? There was a like a bad review, right, of a subway, and they were like, I asked them to make me sixty three subs, and it took over an hour. <laughs> and, and, and they seemed to have attitude the whole time they were making it. I fucking wonder why. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why too. Right, I, th- I think someone did the math and it was like one sandwich per minute. <laughs> no, <laughs> they, they had to damn. Do, yeah. <laughs> that boy was hustling. Yeah, the thing was like, I feel like everybody in customer service should be able to fight someone. Yeah. Like at least once. Bro, there's so many dickheads. I hate that come people. in the I nah, hate people. But so the much. other day, this dude did come in clutch. So, like. You better stop chewing on that, Ben. It's your hat. <laughs> oh, come on, Benjamin. <laughs> Anyways, anyways, all right, he's he's cool, he's cool. We'll we'll, we'll put that back. But um, the other day though, I was I was working and it was it was pretty late, but um, it was me and my friend Jasmine, and I just out of nowhere I was like, I was like, yo, I want some crabs right now, and this dude was buying alcohol. The food, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh this dude was buying alcohol and then he came over like like I w- I wasn't taking care of him. I was just talking. Yo, he leans over. He's like, "You want some crabs?" Right? And then I was like, "Yeah, I could go for some crabs right now." And then he was like, "Well, look at my shirt. I sell crabs." And he had a crab shirt and a phone number on that what thing. The fuck? <laughs> yeah. And then uh I was like I was like, "All right, well like like what you trying to do? Like, Did you actually buy them? Like, no, I didn't buy no crap. Good, bro. But Imagine. he was like, but he was like, yeah, take my number down. My name is Miz. <laughs> okay. I was like, I was like, all right. So wrote his number down, blah, blah, blah. He was like, you know what? I got you. He was like, come outside with me real quick. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. So I said, fuck it. Walk you outside, bro. Please <laughs> tell then, me. And then he had crabs in like a listen, van listen, or some listen, shit. Listen, listen, listen. He goes to his car. There's, there's, it was like his girlfriend or his sister or something. He knocks on the window and goes, "Young boy wants some crabs." <laughs> like, mad, mad weird. Okay. So she's like, "Oh, he wants some crabs." She pops the trunk, bro. Trunk full of straight crabs, bro. <laughs> full of them. Like shits. no lining like, or no, like, no bro, like just crabs in the trunk. No, no, no. Okay. Bags full of crabs, bro. He was like, "I'm gonna give you a crab." So you took one out, gave me a crab. Bro, I'm working. What am I supposed to do with this crab? Eat it right now? <laughs> like, I was like, you ain't got no bag or nothing. <laughs> I can put this in. He was like, nah. Just text me. Let me know how it is. Bro, what? Bro, I, when I left, I forgot the crab. <laughs> my friend took it. Did she eat it? I don't know if she ate it. I asked her what she did. She was like, nah, it's sitting in my fridge. Hey, what, were t- what were the fuck were we talking anyway, about? I- crabs yeah bro what the fuck yeah bro that shit was crazy it gave me a crab how much would they have been i asked him what his prices were he was like i sell like what was it was it 12 for like 30 
Is that a good deal? I don't know. I don't think so, bro. Hey, Google. What's the average price for crabs? On the website baltimoresun.com, they say the price for a bushel of Maryland crabs is lower. Anywhere from $130 to $180 a this bushel. Is whack. Hey, Google. More, look for the link hey, Google. How much is a bushel? <laughs> One U.S. bushel equals 9.309 .09 U.S. liquid gallons. What the, why are they why why are they weighing that? Hey Google, how much is a bushel of crabs? On the website bluecrabtrading.com, the they say approximately six to seven dozen per full bushel. Oh. Asterisk bay crabs, which consist of small and medium crabs from five hey, to Google. six inches. Hey Google, stop talking. Yeah, bitch, shut up. Six to seven dozen for hundred and thirty. That's that's. Not that bad, if that's accurate. Nah, nah, nah. Six but to if it's, seven dozen? Yeah. That's like 12 times but for six like, to seven. But that's for like a hundred. That's for like a hundred dollars. Yeah. If you're selling 12 for 30, bro. Oh, that's true. That shit's whack. <laughs> well, he's selling them out of the back of his car. Yeah. So. I don't even know how long them shit's been in there. That's bro. what I'm saying. He was, like, like, he, he was like, he was like, because like, they definitely wasn't alive, but they gave it to you. Well, no, that shit, that shit was like, like, you know, when you go, you ate crabs before? Oh, hell yeah, I love crabs. Yeah, yeah. So like. You know when you get them, you got like the Old Bay and stuff like on them. Yeah, I hate stuff. that shit. You don't like Old Bay? No, bro. Cause some, one time it got in my mouth and it was so salty and gross I didn't like it. So never again. Oh, that's like that's that seasoning, bro. I gotta wash that shit off. That's my mom, bro. But you know what sucks, sucks. Cause you know how like crabs got the spikes around them. Mm -hmm. When you're picking that shit and that shit cut your finger and then you grab a piece and Old Bay get in that jaw. Yeah, that bro. Shit it just burns salt, like a bro. bitch, Ooh. bro. I'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's fucking awful yeah i hate that shit always gotta wash it off also another thing do you wash your meat what if this is a thing i mean i take showers no, no. <laughs> <laughs> i meant the food you eat cause... <laughs> you wash your meat I'm before you cook it yes of course i wash my fucking meat bro that's just dirty <laughs> Oh, bro, I'm fucking biting that, bro. <laughs> I'm using that for like the fucking ad that I. <laughs> bro. <laughs> yeah, because there's people that don't wash their meat before they cook it. Yeah, Guess what kind of people they are? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but like, even my Nana, right? Mm -hmm. She, she like washes that shit. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. Maybe that's a suburbs thing. Maybe old people are like. They've been around longer, right? So they kind of, they, they got know. their knowledge of Yeah, I mean, like, salmonella was a problem back then, wasn't it? I don't know. You'll read that book, The Jungle. Bro, who? Like, the, 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 um. Probably not, bro. I don't read. It's a, it was, it was about, like, um, when the immigrants came over and they were in the processing factories of, like, for food and how nasty that shit is. Like, when, like, people would be losing their fingers in the machines and stuff from, like, the <laughs> 20s. Well, yeah, I knew that, like, accidents happen all the time. Yeah, but, but like. Apparently that shit was so nasty, bro. Like rats would be like in cans and they would like That's can crazy. that shit. You know, like I feel like bro, FDA was definitely created because of the Because of that, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> I learned that shit in history class, but like Because like, you know like to this day you can have like seven rat hairs in a jar of butter. peanut butter. And you that's told fine. Me that a while ago and I was like, yo, I wonder right. how many rat hairs I've eaten, bro. <laughs> peanut butter. Or and like you were talking about like the pus. From like cows. That's oh like yeah, milk, yeah, and they yeah. Just diet white. Yeah. Because you know how they, much milk cows, I drink, bro. Yeah, I know. I drink some, yeah. This, this is one, one of those weirdos that fucking drinks a cup of milk <laughs> when he's thirsty. I'm not a weirdo for it, bro. Yes, that shit slaps, right? Mm -hmm. But like at this point, I'm just like, I've drank it already. So like, yeah. fuck you. Like and then chocolate milk. That shit. Yeah, be so what we're talking fine. about, right? These cows are fucking so. They're factory farmed, obviously, and so. They're constantly producing milk, and so they bleed from their fucking udders from like excessive use, and pus comes out of that shit as well. Remember that and machine from back at the they just, barnyard? Yeah, when they were sucking. <laughs> the thing. Yeah, and uh, yeah, they just fucking dye everything white and call it milk, and we'd be drinking that, putting that on our cereal. It, milk is weird. Right? I always think about this every oh, time oh, I eat oh, milk. Oh. Humans, we're not supposed to be eating. We're not supposed to be drinking milk. I mean, you know, if Otis is a boy cow. Yeah, I know. You know where I'm going with this? He should not have a, yeah. <laughs> Something's wrong with Nickelodeon, bro. 
Do you remember when there was that meme with the with the penguins from Madagascar? We had the toothbrush. You see that? <laughs> DreamWorks. Yeah. I watched I watched that episode when it came I, out. I, when I, I was like that. I think I did. Wait. I think I did see the episode, but I don't really remember. I just remember that part. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see nothing wrong. But then again, I was a little little wee boy, a little a wee, wee lad, a little wee man. Yeah. Uh, Nickelodeon. What what was your what what shows do you remember? Like underrated shows? Do you remember that Anything you watch? It doesn't have to be from Nickelodeon. No, yeah. that's not underrated, bro. That no, that oh, is underrated. Yeah, underrated. Underrated shows. Cause I got a few. Mm. Did you ever watch? Um, I forget what it was called. They made a movie about it, but that movie was whack. Jimmy Neutron. No, 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 no. That wasn't underrated, nah, bro. Know. It was um, it was like Rugrats. Escape I'm not from the Hidden Temple. It was like a game show from Nickelodeon. Oh no, had, I never watched that, but I've heard of stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, bro, like they like the big yeah, big like head. they made a movie about it like a few years ago. But that shit had me pissed off. Yeah, I, I didn't know nothing about it. Yeah, no, I used to love that show. Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm spit some knowledge on y'all. Go ahead, go all right. Ahead. Uh, okay, I don't remember the name, but the one thing where like it was that one Girl Scout that was like B or something like that. You remember Mighty B? Mighty B. Yeah, that that yo. Yeah, that show was the shit. All right. That is like the first time I found out that people have problems with like fucking having their food touch. <laughs> the, there was a whole episode to this one me, kid that had that problem. What about um Fan Tough Boy and Chum Chum? That was good too. Tough Puppy. Tough Puppy with fucking Fan Jerry Chum Spencer Chum. or whatever. Yeah. Fan Boy and Chum Chum was, was the good. shit. All right. Yeah. I to this day I catch myself just humming along to What the about song the Emperor's whatever. New Groove show? Yeah. Kind of not underrated though. Or do you think because they had a movie first. They had a movie first, but then like they had like the whole like they had a show. They yeah. went to show and it was like Crunk's thing, mm-hmm. and he had like the the squeaker make squeaker squeaks. Like, yes. you know like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I watched that shit. Bro. I loved that. I would play that. I would play those fucking games on Disney.com, bro. Yeah. On the old <laughs> ass like ninety com. computer that my parents kept. Oh my gosh, bro! I, I would always fucking play disney shit and there was this one game from emperor's new groove that was so lit i i barely even i don't think i ever even know how to play the games i just like them because i just the only thing i can remember is like potions being thrown because you know the one girl yo did you ever play that online game called like save the bunny no nah. like it was like a stuffed it was like a stuffed bunny and you had to like do like surgery on it like you had to oh yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. you had to cut it open yes and then bro i used to get so pissed at that game because jonathan my brother could always finish the game and save that bunny. Mm-hmm. But every time it got to like the defibrillation part, <laughs> I would always fuck up somehow. Hey, Ben. Get out of there. Jonathan yeah. made me so depressed, bro. Because <laughs> he was so good at video games. And I was Since like... day one. I was like, well, I'd play Call of Duty and it'd be like, don't... Sh- Call of Duty you know, 3, to be exact. Because we had the demo for Xbox 360. Right? <laughs> And like you know, it starts off in like in like a like you know a war setting, obviously. Yeah. But it it was at a point where um, you could go, and it would be like, you just shot a friendly fire. Friendly fire is not mm-hmm. allowed. Every time with me, I would throw a grenade, and it'd be like you killed one of your teammates, and I'm like, yeah, because you didn't like. Oh you my didn't know gosh, that. I was like six. But I, when I, I don't I don't know how to describe it, but I used to hate shooter games i hate like before i had a console or really anything i could really play on i always hated them and my cousin had a ps3 and that's when i would play video games over there but like i didn't like any of the shooter games. i would, I would always like other stuff like uh infamous or infamous movies. did you ever play prototype i haven't my brother has it because he has a ps3 yeah, and prototype used to be still shit in the uncharted games like uncharted mm-hmm. 2 yeah that was a good one but yeah i didn't like all that but then we got a ps3 and they said we could pick two games from this. It was at GameStop because, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, they said we could pick two games, two used games, obviously, because GameStop. And I picked Killzone 3, I think it was. Killzone 3. That, and I I That's, loved it. I think it was I know so what weird because about. the controls were kind of different and yeah. it was a whole different premise. And it was like the first time that I saw on like multiplayer that the teams that were actually like. If you were red, you were red to yourself, and you were also red to them. Like you know how now ev- your enemies always appear red, so that you yeah. know who can. So like you were actually on the red team. Yes, like <clears throat> that was like one of the first games I remember actually seeing that. And I was like, holy shit, that's cool. Like, yeah, it doesn't change for the opposite view. Uh, 
you know, GameStop might be like it's close to going out of business. For real? Yeah, they. they I mean, I can see why because everything is online now. Mm-hmm. You go on your PS4, they got the the PSN. And bro, they're fucking scammers, bro. Yeah, they really are. You could give them like four PlayStation fours, and they'd be like, "Well, you got like twenty dollars." Yeah, <laughs> or like fucking twenty seven dollars in stroke credit. Yeah, you want that shit? But they they actually released a statement talking about how they're gonna try to change the way they sell games, and they they were doing something like. Now, instead, you have a 48-hour period to return a game for a full refund. No. See, that's fair. Yeah. People, people are going to be grinding. I know. That's what I'm saying. For, like, in 48 hours. If they don't like the game, the game fuck you. Especially single-player games. Yeah. Or, like, just story-based games. Uh, that's why they got to make them longer. Like, uh... Like, Red mean? Dead Redemption like Red 2. Dead, or uh, the new game that just came out. Um, bef- uh, that, I don't remember the name. Some it's a zombie game. We know what I'm talking about the PS4 exclusive. Ben, come on, get on is the that, bed. Is that where it was like, like you He's see it bike. all over? And yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, because at the beginning, I seen like the the beginning of it, and like you have like a choice to like kill somebody or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as all teams yeah. are. But um, The Walking Dead finally ended a few months ago. I still haven't finished the game. Don't spoil it for me. I still cause I have I still have to record it. So yeah. that's why I've been putting it off. Though. I just haven't been. It's like it's, it. it's all right. It's all yeah, right. You no, can tell I they know. rushed the end. I played. I played like half of the last episode, but what are you gonna do? Yeah. The whole other company had to fucking take that's, up. The, that's crazy, bro. That John's been around. You remember when I had my iPod Touch, bro? Yeah. <laughs> I downloaded the first part here at your house, oh, yeah. and then I went home and played it. And that was when Lee was in the back of the cop car. Oh, Lee, and yes. Like, after that, I was like. Well, ain't no more episodes, so like, yeah, when I, so I, I deleted the game. <laughs> when I first played The Walking Dead, it was uh, it was on the PS3. We got the demo first, and that was cool. But then I didn't, f- I didn't really find or really look it, look mm-hmm. at it till years later when like we were on like, like the third season. Yeah, know? yeah. And but then I just watched everything on YouTube. I just watched Let's Plays of it just mm-hmm. to catch up. I I used to watch like. Every YouTuber's fucking let's play because they're the different choices. Yeah, because I wanted to see how everyone was, and but then I, you know, I started playing them myself, and I was like, Fuck them. I'm, I'm only subscribed. I realized the other day I'm only subscribed to one gaming channel, and that's the Rad Brad because the Rad Brad, yeah, yeah because that's the only dude that, that actually I does like. like, like let's play still. Yeah, and that's it. Jacksepticeye, bro. Markiplier, I, I, I like them, you know, but they kind of fell out. Like they got annoying. Like they're yeah. mostly Jacksepticeye. He, his voice just got. Yeah, I don't like Jacksepticeye. I've, I've I'm never sure really he's a great guy. No, Jacksepticeye. <laughs> like I have not watched him. Yeah. I, like I watch Markiplier here and there, but that's just because he does horror games. Mm-hmm. Like I don't watch his other stuff. Yeah, I went on to. Yeah, the other night I was just full of nostalgia. I just kept looking at old stuff, and I went on to Markiplier's channel and. It's just so different now. Like, I remember the so reason weird. we came on to him. Markiplier beef up nice at Freddy's on nightmare mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You were like, he's the only person that's done it. I was like, who is Markiplier? <laughs> <laughs> bro, Five Nights at Freddy's is a shit. You know, there might be coming out with another one already. No way. Yes, bro. There's there like six or seven or something. It's like seven, bro. That's crazy. But the thing is, I Everybody still follow it. I don't, like, I don't watch the, the game. Scariest. Yeah, no. I don't watch the game. The gameplay anymore. Just felt like the lore. The lore is so good. I love shit with lore. That's why I love Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Like I, I've literally just discovered Game of Thrones. You like, watched Game of Thrones? I've discovered it like not too long ago. Bro, when I'm did you start up. watch Game of Thrones? Bro, I'm all caught up now. Like a couple weeks ago. Like bro. I watched it like a week, like literally the week before I, I the new season Thrones, started, bro. Huh? I don't watch Game of Thrones. I know. I, I but let me let me try to persuade you because I titties. That's all you gotta I, say. Like, <laughs> no, 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 bro. <laughs> So I put it off from hella long, you know, just because it didn't interest me, you know, it was whatever. But I'm glad I did. Because you know? uh-huh. it is not like any other show that I have watched personally, right? Because that ass, a lot of the show is just two people talking and they make it interesting. Because there's so much. Two people talk. Like, there's no no more than two people in it. No, 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 no. Like, a lot of the time, they're not a lot of the time, but there'll be times when there's just two characters that are just sitting either like drinking wine or just you know just talking to each other mm-hmm. and they're just talking and, but it's like, it's filled with like juice bro it's like the tea bro yeah like it's so it's so well written the last couple wasn't of seasons it, wasn't yeah. it based off of books though yeah, that's why that's yeah. why <laughs> george R. R. martin yeah 
but then, then like that, that so the show, show right it, it got ahead of the books which is why these last seasons have been taking forever to release and why it's ending so short like this season the last season right now only has six episodes in it wait so the other episodes had is, the other is the author time. helping out with the show he kind of does but they ultimately the producers have what because the, the books yeah, I know. do do stuff different from the... Okay, so or, it's kind of like so, The Walking Dead before yeah. they got to where they're at now. Yeah. I mean, like, The Walking Dead is still kind of so, following it. Kind of, so, yeah. he, I don't think he even finished the book yet. Like, the actual book of the episodes that they're now making. So, yeah. I th- potentially, the show is going to have a different ending than the books when he finally So, technically, it. the show is original right now. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'd be mad. If I but, was writing them books, because ain't them books like this hella thick, thick bro. Yeah. yeah, they're fucking He takes shit. all that time he's to been, come up with all this. Apparently, he's been writing them since like the 90s or something mm-hmm. like that. Maybe even fucking, I don't know if it was before that, but I know he's been writing them for a while. What if he creates religion? Kind of like the Scientology, <laughs> created, though. The show created language, like a bunch of languages with them. No way. They bro. have fake languages and they have to, like, all the actors, they read the lines, but the one guy that, he actually made the language, like a language called Dothraki. And Thraki, Val- yeah, Dothraki and Valyrian, like it goes. This shit goes deep, bro. That's like it's you like ever watched so that movie good. Seventeen again with Zac Efron, yes, and they start Love speaking Elvish. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's somebody's done that, bro. Yeah, I mean, uh, I wish. What else? Is there a Star Wars language that people can speak? Yeah, it's or Star Trek, bro. Klingon, Klingon, Klingon yeah. yeah. People can speak Klingon. So that's crazy. Yeah. People have people too can much do, like, time, It's weird bro. that people can make just a language, you know, out of yeah. nothing. And it doesn't seem hard. Or, yeah, it doesn't it seem is easy. Hard. It doesn't seem yeah, easy yeah, yeah. is what I mean. To fucking... Because you got you to gotta think about like, like what words mean what? What's your alphabet? Yeah. What's your pronunciation? <laughs> Does it already exist? <laughs> like, there's too much. But like the Navajo... Oh, their yeah. language mm-hmm. it's not even written bro it's strictly spoken yeah, and that's why I they used that. it in world war Two. Oh, yeah did you know about that no i didn't yeah didn't they like that. um what they used to do was uh they were called like wind talkers or code talkers or something like that but like they wanted a code that like the nazis or like the axis powers mm-hmm. couldn't like interpret because yeah. there's no written language of it mm. so they hired like not hired but you know like got like yeah navajo to join like the marines and stuff that's that way they could like be like, yo, radio this to the person. And wait, it's a different. That's interesting. Yeah, that's smart though. Like yeah. for real, like it's crazy. Yeah, fucking. Uh, I've been like, it's weird. Like recently, a lot of stuff has been coming up about uh, Native Americans and shit. Because even now, they're still trying to fucking push them even further into a corner of the world. Because yeah, they're that's... they're trying to build the pipelines and all of that. Yeah, and on their on the land that they gave them even though they kind of already gave them a lot more land before and we're just seeing the yeah, same thing happening like, again yeah, you, just, know, you can just deal with a little, little bit more this. yeah and not only that uh they actually took away a lot of their rights to vote like taken away because it's, really it's not like it's there's not like a rule i don't know if it's a, the whole u.s but i remember seeing that there was a rule now that like if you don't have an actual address you can't vote and so a lot of these people that are in these, you know, communities, yeah. they they just can't end up voting. Now. Oh my god! See now, that's like bullshit, bro. It is bullshit. Like, I don't know what's going on bro, with the country it's lately, American bro. American oil, bro. But like <laughs> American oil, but like that's why that this fucking but pipelines. no, because like next year's election year, right? Oh my god! Right? Yeah. We can actually vote now. I know, bro. But we like. Have- but yo, y'all are fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just but, saying. You like, know, those people think that Trump might still win, though. Because we don't know who the candidate is going to be. Listen, listen. And I just, I just got to say this, right? I know a lot of people want Joe Biden. You know, he was vice president to Obama. But I do not want Joe Biden. Because... Are we getting political now? This, uh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> we getting political. This dude, he doesn't want marijuana, but he still thinks that's a gateway drug. Mm-hmm. You know, he... Let's just go for Bernie, y'all. He, like, I'm trying to go for Bernie. You know, that's... That that's the thing. He met man. old, bro. Yeah, he is. But Trump... He's only like two years older than Trump. Yeah, but like... I'm pretty sure. Why? Never mind. I'm, I'm gonna be on a watch list. Never mind. Let me, <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> so, I would think of, right... 
so people been saying, especially uh, Michael Cohen, right? You know him? Yes. The whole hearings and shit yeah, happened. Yeah. Well, he, he said was the that lawyer, right? He was yeah, I watched lawyer. his. I watched his uh, hearing and stuff. Yeah, I but like it, it was, that upset me because it was like all the Republicans, mm -hmm. like because you know that was supposed to be like about him getting information about like Trump yes. out and stuff. And they were just trying to they discredit him. They were just him. putting it on him. Mm -hmm. They're like, so is this going to help you with your, your sentence your, your and stuff? Your book or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I was like, like, bro, stop. Yeah. The Republican, the, not the Republican, Democrats were like, bro, just tell us what's going on. Mm -hmm. And they were coming at the Republicans too. Like, this yeah. has nothing to like, do with. My colleagues may think it's okay. I know that shit always. Ooh. Yeah. Yo, I, all right. So I don't know. It's probably because I'm older. Who the fuck knows? But. The government, the politics right now, it is so good, bro. It's like a reality show. That's why I'm so invested in everything that's going on. Because it's so childish. Shit, it's so childish. Oh though. my god, it is. Cause like we're fighting over imaginary lines and yes. fucking liquids and rocks. Minerals, right? Rocks. Mm -hmm. Like that's the whole fucking thing of war, pretty it's much. Like, bro. Imaginary Get creatures in the rocks. sky. Imaginary creatures yeah, in the sky. Yeah, I mean religion is a big cause of war all around the world. But is it imaginary though? We don't know. That's exactly. the thing. I can't say for sure. But the chances of your God, whichever one that may be, that are real, is it, is it it's pretty the same? Small. Is it though? Technically, everybody has the same amount of chance of being wrong because we don't yeah. know the pop, like the probability yeah. of anything towards that side. Yeah, I fucking. If anything that I believe, right? I believe that. It's just all an energy, right? Because we're where the fuck does our consciousness go, right? We're like That's we're question, electrical bro. beings in an electrical system. Yeah, you know everything has a charge, you know. But what's crazy is we're literally just, just our spinal cord and our brain, bro. Yeah, That's all that we are. Yeah, like our we're just our brain, pretty much. But so I saw a thing, right? Uh, that I kind of agreed with. It's kind of what if we're like the physical version of a spiritual self or like a spiritual world like what if this is just the physical of whatever the fuck is our consciousness and yeah is whatever we say is a god or whatever we don't, that, we don't know is, is that basically you saying like we are our own god like mm, like you're your own we're god. part of a system i feel like it's more to say because we're not gods you know? no no we're no not i'm not god. saying we are but like you're you and i'm me yeah I can't take away your consciousness. Yeah. Well, I, I could. But that's yeah, murder. you could kill like, me. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, I go through my life through my eyes. You go mm -hmm. through your life through your eyes. So, like, I just, I just keep looking at it because it just turns yeah, on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, I don't know. There's so many different possibilities. Yeah, bro. we don't. We nobody knows. What the nobody fuck is know going on. has that's, any type of clue. It's weird. I start. So I started looking at teachers differently when I started looking into all this shit, right? Because I was mm -hmm. like nobody knows what's going on they're just as clueless as we yeah. are like ben sure, don't they, even know what the hell going on they may have degrees they may have fucking college education do they know what happens after we die do we know why do they know why we're here then they don't know shit they're just they're just we're all fl just floating around we should have nikola tesla like, should have just done his shit bro. i know the free energy I wish, bro. You I know hate how much stuff would be greedy, bro. My before. phone would be charged right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so much. Oh, so I was thinking about this yesterday because uh, a friend of mine posted that she was at the Library of Congress. Mm -hmm. At some point in history, so everything has to end. The Romans, greatest empire ever, they fell. All right, America is gonna fall at some eventually, point. some yes. point because it has to happen. Everything has to come to an end. It'd be a miracle. Oh, we got it nukes. Never did. We do got nukes. What if that's our downfall? What if? So turn out to fall out, bro. Yeah, that's so, scary to think about too. Because you sent me that thing, or did I don't know? I saw something mm -hmm. where you know climate change is happening way faster than we think, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like super like it, fast. It's accelerating. Like, like the, what did it say? Like twenty years or ten years? Yeah, we have twelve years max minimum to I guess fix I say. stuff. To, yeah, before it's irreversible. Yeah. And then we can't, no matter what we do. I think we I seen something where it was like, uh, you know, during the 1800s, uh, the, the temperature of the world has gone up by like two degrees or like some, 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 mm -hmm. but that like, 
everybody's like, oh wow, it's only like two degrees. But yeah, like, but that's, that's actually huge, yeah, yeah, that's bro. significant because it's all an ecosystem. Yeah. Like, it all like it's it's very because people they life is so specific. So like mm-hmm. to like maybe like like a phytoplankton or something. But that's that's not even in, think about this inhabitable. Like, water freezes stuff. at thirty two degrees, mm-hmm. not at thirty three. No, not at thirty four. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. That's it's so it specific. Makes, yeah, boiling point of water. It'll be hot, but the only it won't be boiling. Listen, like I'm so mad that like America's on a different like yeah, me metric too. system me too. than everybody else. I, yeah, I fucking, because like I wish we used Celsius. Yeah, because it's so much easier. Mm-hmm. Water freezes at zero. Yeah. Water boils at a hundred. Exactly. What the fuck? Why the fuck do we gotta be <laughs> well, we special? Thirty two, and then like I don't even know when water boils in Fahrenheit. It's like three hundred something. I don't even know. <laughs> no, bro. Like, like, <laughs> what do you mean? No, I don't think so. Hey Google. Hey Google. At what temperature do? does water boil? Water has a boiling point of two hundred and twelve degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, you were off by a little bit, but not like that was close enough. Yeah, but anyways, you know, it's it also weird. at different altitudes. Yeah. Oh, d- speaking of altitudes, uh. Did you hear about this fucking Denisovian jawbone found in a cave? I think I sent it to you, but I don't know. So this Tibetan monk was in the mountains in a cave, and they found uh, an ancient human, a species, sub, you know, subspecies mm-hmm. called Denisovians, and they found a jaw, a jawbone in there, and it kind of, and they were saying like it kind of just puts more questions in mystery because now we we may think like the reason why humans can live at high altitudes is because of the Denisovians because we found evidence that they were living yeah, higher up, there. and yeah, the ancient history. There's so has been many species that we do not know about. Bro. Yes, like like you oh, saw bro. in um in like uh, what in like New Zealand they found those like, um, like the the dwarf. Like, oh yeah, yeah, like like tiny um, human. Yeah, but like that's crazy because they were like they're three feet tall, but they're like proportionate as me mm-hmm. and you. Like it's oompa loompas. Yeah, bro. You know, there's there's a group of people that believe giants exist. Yeah, existed but, at one but point. But I don't I don't know about that one. Yeah, I know it's because because the we can't even and... like gigantism is almost like giants, but the body can't sustain at that. That's why people's like mm-hmm. hearts give out because mm-hmm. it can't. It's not functional. Yeah, enough to... I, the proof that people have say like. Is very not even like scientifically based. It's just like there's a bunch of megalithic sites that are like so yeah, yeah, yeah. big and I, crazy. We were like, watching that. What wasn't we? We might have been. Yeah, where it was like, who? Why is this but, doorway so big? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, but there's so much to ancient history that we don't know. And so humans, right? We are not a unique species. Mm-hmm. We are a hybrid species mm-hmm. because we have. That's why people still have Neanderthal. DNA and Denisovian DNA because so because we're not like, even far from them. Yeah, yeah, like they the fact like, that we can the fact that Homo bones. sapiens the fact that Homo sapiens could mate with Denisovians and Neanderthals means that we were because you can't mate with actual yeah. other species. You can't have a baby with a dog. Yeah. Like and if we found like a like the if you believe in evolution, if you found like the monkey version of a human you couldn't fuck that and make yeah. a kid, but you uh, you could do it with the Neanderthal and shit. So how they weren't we weren't that different, but then I, like I don't know. It's it's so mis- so much mystery to what's been happening in our history. And the I've been of the Library of Alexandria. Yeah, you know that probably has some. Oh yeah, what I was gonna say earlier. Um, so when if america ever fell right the library of congress would probably be burned and i was thinking if the library of congress is ever burned that'd be the equivalent of burning the library of alexandria because that is the biggest library in the world bro but like that's so crazy like humans are so destructive so bro. stupid bro imagine the fucking knowledge that was in that library i know that's bro. what i'm saying like you know how much more history we would have i know bro there's so much shit we don't know like they found did you hear there was this like fucking it was a bunch of metal they found like in the shipwreck or whatever. They had no idea what it was. I mean, yeah. And, <laughs> and they, and they like, I think they found out now that it was a type of navigating system, and it was on like an ancient like. But ancient it was ship. metal. It was metal, yeah, and it was crazy. Damn, they got GPS. Yeah, yeah, like because <laughs> how would they navigate? Well, like you know, like the Vikings. The Vikings were probably like mad smart, bro. Well, mm-hmm. like we know they were mad smart. Mm-hmm. They legit used a stone to navigate, bro, like a crystal. Oh yeah, yeah, like they called it like a sunstone. 
Mm. I watched this on like the, the travel channel. Shout out to Josh <laughs> Gates, you know what I'm saying? But um like they literally use like a shadow to like figure out if they're going north. Mm. That's weird. Which is like It's fucking crazy. This is some balls, bro. That's north. Like you know, who, there's a who looks at a shadow and just sees all that. I know, like same thing like people that use the stars and shit. Yeah to, to navigate. That one makes more sense you, though, because but you they're have in a, the same spot every time. Yeah, no. But, but you, you gotta know what you're yes, looking at. Yes, you gotta go out there and you gotta make sure. I'm pretty sure that's the same star that yeah. I was just looking at. Like, yeah. But I guess if you look, study them, and then map them out, I guess maybe. But like, think about that. There's astronomers out there. You could drop them anywhere and be like, "Oh, that's blah 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 mm-hmm. blah, like eighty-seven, forty million, like." Except the fucking city, because light pollution can't even see Word. the stars, bro. I, I. The other day, like dawned on me, right? I've never seen the actual night sky because I, it's just so much light pollution at night. You don't see all the stars. In my house, we've seen stars. Oh, you can. Yeah, you've like, seen them, bro. Like a lot of them. Not like, like, I don't. I want to say like a lot, but I know what you mean. I want to go out yeah. to like Tennessee, yes. and like sit in a field mm-hmm. and look at that because the long ago, like maybe the seventies or eighties or some shit, there was a blackout in California. And there's a bunch of calls about strange sightings in the sky. And it was actually just people seeing the Milky Way for the first time in their lives. Cause see, that's all so the, crazy. All the I wish, out. I wish, bro, like we could see the center of the Milky Way. Mm-hmm. Have you ever like seen like pictures of like the center of our galaxy? Not really. Bro, it's isn't so... it just a black hole in there or something? No, 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 no. no, no. It's center. not in the center, but like. Oh, wait, galaxy or you? The center like, of our galaxy. Oh, okay, you know. At our universe is a black hole. But um, do we know that though? That's a thing, I don't know. Bro. I think that's a hypothesis or something. Because no, because I've heard uh black holes eventually turn into galaxies. Because it mm-hmm. starts with the collapse of a star mm-hmm. and then that turns Explodes. into a black hole because of how much pressure is there. Yeah, it gets condensed. And then eventually all that matter is like um turned into like a solar system almost. Mm. Like a galaxy, not a solar system, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But um no, the center of our galaxy, bro, like it's so beautiful. Like, it's so lit. Because, you know, it's just a bunch of uh, atoms of different things, like, shoved together. Like, you ever seen the nebula? Probably, but... That's that's just another collection of, like, atoms and stuff. But it's so cool, because they're, like... I know you've seen, like, the Pillars of Creation. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I've seen that. Like, like, all of those types of stuff. Like, space is so cool. I know. I would love to die in space. No. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. no. no oh, bro. shit. All if right, you, let me put you on. If I got thrown into space, bro, like, forever... Just going and going. That's fucking terrifying. Why would you want that? No, the ocean is terrifying. The ocean is terrifying. I'd but... rather go to space than the ocean. I understand. It's dark. It's black. There's you're far from everything and close. But there's to nothing there the that can time. kill you. <laughs> Do we know that? Nothing close enough. Yeah, but like, you know, there's those little points of beauty in there that I could just, I want to see. Mm-hmm. I might. I'll probably never see them. Nah, no way. Unless Elon Musk, you know what you're saying? Like, get that John done. So this is what I want to put you on, right? Because I had a whole revelation. And all right. So I don't know why everybody's so excited for us to go to Mars. And I'll tell you why. Because who the fuck do you think is going to Mars? I know he's trying to say commercial. Bitch, do you know how much these shits are going to cost? He was saying like he wants to do it on average $20,000 for like a a trip to to Mars. Mm Mm-hmm. That's so not fucking happening. Let's like, that'll be far in the future. But at first, it's gonna be probably you know trained thousand. trained astronauts to make sure every you know set everything up. And yeah. then when they start bringing actual people, it's gonna be expensive as fuck. So my theory is the rich are gonna go to Mars, leave us on this dying planet that they polluted, leave the poor on this dying planet that they polluted like the to suffer for themselves. They're going to go over there, right? And I had, I had this whole thing. I was thinking, like, if Mar- if there's a society on Mars, they would have to build, like, a whole infrastructure. They would have to build, like, They would have to shit. terraform the planet. And I was like, yeah, for sure. And I was like, they're going to ha- So, eventually, the first Martian is going to be born, right? Bro, did you did and- you see that? That's, they said the parents of the first natural born oh, Martian yeah. they might is alive yeah. today, Yeah, bro. they could be alive today, like, right now. That's crazy. Yeah. So... We're gonna have Martians, right? Mm-hmm. We're gonna have, gonna have and then eventually, I feel like at first it'll start off Mars and Earth communicating, right? But the, here's the thing: what? How do we claim 
the link because if america gets there first can they because but like any right every planet in the solar system it was agreed upon every country that well i don't think every country but you know a majority of countries that nothing in the solar system can belong to one singular country that was a, mm-hmm. an agreement they placed yeah, because they tried to do the moon yeah <laughs> and <laughs> it was like nah we own the moon like, yeah and so now if we went to mars would we make up a country there like it's set up our own border and everything do you think we would like make our countries in the shape of the countries we have now or would we just like try to pick up now nah, bro much? because like we the, would only definitely reason, just pick the only up. reason we have the countries we do now is because canada and mexico <laughs> yeah like yeah. We, we were like nah you gonna stop here and then we went to war all right yeah yeah but like hopefully but if they get their first with that they get on mars first. bro like you would think if everybody's humans. going to i know it's humans but like hopefully everybody's like on a let's page. stop killing each other for so, once so here's, here's where it's gonna keep going right so i think at first the planet like earth and mars are going to be in communication you know they're going to have regular missions to and fro maybe for supplies who the fuck knows gonna be doing that shit um also internet you know that's obviously going to be a thing that they're going to have to use what is the internet going to turn into here's the thing yeah so how if how would they do it they would either have to set up their own internet on mars or a whole new they would have to send the sick like internet signals to there which i don't know how po- plausible that is if that's even no, that's, mad fucking, far away, that's what bro. i'm saying like how delayed would it be and i don't know if it's even possible but nonetheless i think so, there's like a like a like a i was watching this astronaut talk about how he was talking um to his family because then you know you only get to talk to them like once oh, a yeah, week yeah and he was like there's like a five second delay and what this with is. like talking mm. to people i mean like that's not like bad yeah but like that's probably like that's the fastest yeah. internet that they have <laughs> yeah up there to send to them yeah they, i heard astronauts say that the internet's actually pretty ass well the, yeah because they're station. outside of the the, the, <laughs> the orbit of the satellite yeah. and um anyways uh they're gonna eventually all of mars is gonna be at some point, populated by pure Martian, right? Mm-hmm. No natural Earthling. And another racist. And more, and this is where it's gonna go. So either the Earth people are gonna look down on these Martians, or the Martians are gonna think they're better than the Earthlings. I feel like it's gonna. Go and they're gonna both split ways. off. They're gonna split off from Earth. They're gonna be like, why we don't need to follow what you guys say because you you guys are on a whole other planet. Same thing with America. What happened? That's why we went away from mm-hmm. British because like you guys are on the whole other side of the ocean. The ocean. So, That's so a whole different planet. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So eventually, I feel like they would retaliate, become their own system, and maybe space war. I don't know. <laughs> well, well, you know, Trump still got to do something about this space force. Yeah, he oh. said he's gonna make so. All right, so this is a theory that I'm completely making up. <laughs> but <laughs> this is what a if, theory I'm making up. Yeah, what if space force, right? What if this whole Trump election it's was a cover? Jedi, like no, bro. Like, what if it was a cover, right? Like to get Trump elected, a president so crazy that something as space force wouldn't seem that crazy under him. But it's actually just a front because there's actually aliens, and we gotta protect ourselves from the aliens. But they need a cover for it. So this crazy ass president makes a space force. Everybody real ridicules for him. What about that? By the, you know, like, I mean, like, I would say it's outlandish, but I've played video games. <laughs> so, and also, the man is orange. <laughs> yeah. Who in the right head is like, that's my presence <laughs> and proud of it? Racist? Yeah, bro. Did yeah. you see that thing? I think you sent it to me. With it Twitter? was like the Trump rally, like just a hate rally where the dude was yelling like shoot the Oh immigrants. yeah, yeah, and he laughed about it. That's horrible, bro. Yeah. Like see that, this is why some people think that Trump might still be reelected because there's still so much hate, bro. Like I don't I don't think we fully even know or comprehend how many racists are in America yeah, right no. now because if it can be a it's almost a 50-50 divide. That's why the election was so close. Mm-hmm. And that's why um America so divided right now. If so his so Michael Cohen, right? Mm-hmm. Earlier, uh when I mentioned it, he said that um he doesn't think there's gonna be a peaceful transition of power between if if Trump loses. He's I don't know how, what that means if he's gonna try yeah, to I don't think retaliate like, or if he's gonna I forget what I was saying. <laughs> no, no, no. But I, I understand where he's coming from, like for real. Like I don't think there's gonna be a peaceful transition of power neither. Because it's gonna go from extremist Right, yeah. like, like, 
we can we can call them that. Like Donald Trump, yeah. some Donald Trump supporters are extremists. Yes, as like the, everybody has okay. extremists, but like Here, here's here's so before you get to that. So a lot of so people are painting Republicans as bad guys, and I yes. I, I don't I don't agree I don't with agree that with that because either, not but, all Republicans are bad. Same thing as all Democrats aren't good, right? We got to remember these are politicians. Mm-hmm. Pretty much every politician is corrupt. And but the thing is, the reason Republicans are being painted this way is because a lot of fucking like white supremacists and racists happen to be Republican. Mm-hmm. That's why. Yeah. That's why they're getting the bad picture here. But go ahead. <laughs> well, like you could say that for like anything, like like police officers. Yeah. Probably. I'm not saying I support the police, but like yeah. you know, not all of them are yeah. horrible people. Yo, you know how many fucking like police shit that I've seen like in the past week, bro? I, like I was going to I was going to bring some videos here mm-hmm. to show you, but then I it was just ending up being so much. I was like, yeah, I'm not fucking I'm yeah. not showing all this shit. This is, and when I watch those videos, they piss me off, bro. Like they they, yeah, they make, a lot me, of mad them too. make me mad. And I can't I was, do nothing like, about it. So we've I've watched a video in school where like um cuz you know, there's there's proper ways of handling people. Mm-hmm. There was a cop that made it an arrest off of a traffic stop. Mm-hmm. tased this 19 year old uh man and then uh dragged him out the car put him on his his chest mm-hmm. and then handcuffed him this way and grabbed him by his arms up here and were dragging him so he's like like turned like this getting picked up mm-hmm. and then he drops him on a curb and he hits his chin damn but also that's a spot for positional asphyxia do you know what that is no nah. so like if i'm laying on my chest for too long mm-hmm. My my uh my lungs aren't gonna be able to breathe as well because yeah. there's so much pressure right there. So eventually they'll stop breathing because it can't take it. Mm. So you literally just die from not being able to breathe. Choking. Yeah. Yeah. So this kid literally passed out from this positional asphyxia Crazy. of just laying. Crazy, bro. I, 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 I there was so much shit. Like I saw um uh that that thing that happened with fuck. It was kind of messed up that i don't remember but there's so like so much shit happens but the one the one girl that you probably heard of it, it was big news a couple days ago that uh footage was released of her stop and then if they found out that the cops completely lied about oh, what yeah. happened yeah i didn't know what that was about though yeah i didn't hear about the story when it actually yeah. when it first happened do you know so, about the story though uh, yeah i do now see i don't i don't i just so, i just seen the video you sent me yeah so like what happened right she got arrested and the only footage that was available like three i think it was four years ago mm-hmm. when this first happened the only footage that was available then was like the dash cam footage of the police car and mm-hmm. i don't think there was audio and um they arrested her and she ended up dying in prison right or in jail or whatever and they said it was a suicide right but in the video, she has a phone, right? And the thing is, the cops said that they didn't know what she had on her phone. So that's why they were being so, like, aggressive towards her. Yeah. And they didn't know what she had. But in the video that was recently released, it's it clearly says, like, that he knows that it was a phone. Like, he's, yeah. he says phone. Like, I, I think he says, like, get off your phone or whatever. Stop. I don't know. Yeah, because she's like, and, I have a right to be on my phone. Yeah. And so, and she was saying, like, I'll see you in court. Like, she was, she was ready to yeah. go to court for it. So she, there's no way in hell she killed herself. No way she killed herself. I don't know who killed her, but I don't think she killed herself. You know? And the the family's demanding action now and Yeah. It's 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 a it's a crazy story. Fucking it's fucking awful. And then another dude the was justice like, system. Yeah, this is so fucked. America, yeah. Police I don't know. It's weird, right? Because we think about all these, all these other countries having corrupt police and all that, where you can just bribe them and all that. But then, like, we look at ourselves. Yeah, it's the same stuff. It's the same shit. It's just a lot less people are taking bribes. And if they are taking bribes, it's not bribes like in other countries where it's like a couple hundred dollars. You know it's what big they need bribes to like, do when like, like police officer training? You know, it's a few weeks of school. Yeah, it should definitely right? be longer, and they should have psych, so, psych evaluation. That's exactly tests. what I was getting to. They yeah. need psych evaluations because people join the police force because they have power yeah. issues. Mm-hmm. Like they want to dominate somebody. That that's where you see in a lot of these yeah, police it's, brutality it's cases. People dominating others. Like mm-hmm. I saw this video. This dude fucking manhandling an old man and shit. You know, like he was. I think he was a veteran too, and made him like sit on the ground like throwing he was like you go, he, the old man was like you having a power trip right now and, and he was like no i just don't like people and he was like 
this old man wasn't even yelling. He was like, lower your voice. Like, lower your, like, in his face and all. And he was like, I don't like, the old man was like, I don't like fucking Nazis. And then that's when he got mad and, like, threw him to the ground. See, no. I think a while ago, we saw that one video where, like, um, it was a dude. He was detained, like, mm-hmm. with his hands behind his back. And, I mean, like, you know, there's there's a use of force scale that you're allowed to use. Mm-hmm. But then also, you can go over that use of force scale. Yeah. So, when, like, I guess this dude, like, moved a little bit. But then he, like, there was on a brick road. And he sweeped his feet from underneath him. And he dropped and he hit his head on the ground. And then he knocked out. Damn. And, like, the cop was like, he's fine. <laughs> what the fuck? Like... Something kind of similar to that. I saw this video. This dude was like kneeling um, on like the passenger side of, the, of like the car of his car. And he had a gun, right? Mm-hmm. Open carry state, by the yeah. way. And they were saying, because I guess somebody called from, because like, he was at, he was at some store, like maybe like a coffee shop or some shit. Mm-hmm. And I guess there was a call that, you know, there was a guy with a gun and he was like trying to rob her or something. Probably some racist or whatever. But yeah. Um, yeah, so the cops got there and they were like, drop the gun. And he was holding his hands up. And he was like, nah, I don't want to. And, yeah, and I don't want they to. They were like, drop the gun. And so he went to drop the gun and they shot him. And he was like, and his last words were, you told me to. Because, yeah. Like, how the fuck Bro, do y'all expect cops this? Cops be shit? like doing like mad, like, what's the word? Uh, contradicting shit, yes. bro. Like, just so they have my, an excuse. My, my nana watches that live PD show. You ever watch that? No, but I've seen like clips and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, this dude pulled over a suspected uh, stolen vehicle. Hmm. And like, this, this is what had me mad, bro. Because as soon as he got out the car, he pulled the AR out. And like, oh and like had the gun on him. He was like, I'm calling for backup. Because blah, blah, blah. Um, and he was like, put your hands out the window. And then he had his hands out the window. But then like, you know, your arms get tired. So he was like dropping them a little bit. Hmm. And then he was like, all right, just rest them by the, by the, the side view mirror. And then he was like, put all your, put all your windows down. What? How? If yeah. I if I gotta reach into the vehicle, you gonna shoot me? Yeah. yeah like no. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, no, nah, I'm keeping my hands right here, cause mm-hmm. like, yeah. When I got pulled over, right? When I had when I got my speeding ticket. Yeah, you're retarded. For that. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, dumb. dumb. <laughs> yeah. Well, um. <laughs> fucking. When I got pulled over, right away, bro. I fucking took out my fucking envelope with my like registration and shit. And, and registration and, yeah my, reg- my registration i took it out took my wallet out had it on the steering wheel had the cops like what's up <laughs> just, yeah. I just i was right there ready for that shit because i'm not moving my hands in front in of school, them. the best thing they say is to put your hands on the steering wheel mm-hmm. flat mm-hmm. because like you know they take it no chance you reach for the glove compartment yes they're gonna get defensive. that's why i did it before that dude could get but up like there, also like you know i'm not saying like like I said, I'm not saying I support like all police or nothing, mm-hmm. but cops deal with some stupid yeah. stuff, yeah. bro. Like, like intoxicated people, <laughs> yeah. People that are just yelling for no reason. Uh, scenarios. Yeah, like, the cop that pulled me over, he was actually nice and cool, but I mean, he still gave me a ticket, so fuck that dude. But yeah. like, <laughs> but he, he, you know, at least he didn't kill me, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but like, but yeah, no, there, there, there are some shit. That's just fucking. I, if I was a cop, I probably would lose my temper all the I, fucking time. I would too. That's what I'm saying. I couldn't be a cop because, especially like mm-hmm. dealing with like pedophilia cases. Oh my! God. I couldn't do no. it, bro. Yeah. Nah, fuck that. My uh, bro, the one teacher I have, he's a he, he's a he's a retired cop. Well, he's not retired, but he's part time now. Okay. But um, he had a case where it was a six year old girl. And she, he was the uncle of this six year old girl, and you could you could guess what happened. Mm-hmm. And she was saying that he did all this stuff to her, and they took it to court. And the defense attorney, you know, she's six years old. Yeah. Right. The defense attorney's like, "Well, what time did this happen? What day was this?" The defense attorney to the little girl. Oh, what was the saying fuck? like questions like this, like, so so what exactly did he do? What time was that? Was it in the morning or at night? What like the fuck? like asking for like specifics but, and, yeah, and the guy the fuck, got away how can anyone that's fucked up how can anyone be a defense attorney for that shit listen like, like a bag is a bag is that the fucking bag reason is a bag. fuck that shit bro. but like here's the good part though so um eventually a few months later 
he got arrested for hitting his wife. Mm. And my my teacher saw him when he visited the jail because he was taking another prisoner. And he yelled while he was in like the main courtyard. Yeah. Yelled was like, ain't you the one that was touching that little girl? Mm. And then all the prisoners was like, yeah, <laughs> that's good, bro. Yeah. So they fuck him up. I don't know. He left after that. I hope they, but fucked, like, him I hope they fucked him I hope up they too. Him up. That street justice. Like for real. Like, that shit may be the only thing. Because so many rapists how, are how getting people off. People can do that. So though. many so, like, rapists are getting own, off. Like, like their own family. Their kids, no yeah. bro. That's why so are you going to take that away? Yeah. From something. Like they're innocent, bro. Mm-hmm. It's fucked up. Like I, there's I so many people out there that have to th- live with that you shit. You have to be there's something so wrong with your fucking brain to like yeah. even look at a kid at all in it's, that type of way like yeah like look at a kid and be like yep that's what i want that's like, fucking weird like yeah you know there are, there are like i heard that there are some pedophiles right that they are attractive kid but they don't act on it. like they just they just like because you know it's something in your brain mm-hmm. right like they just if you don't say and you don't act on it it's fine is it though? <laughs> that's the thing is it that's though? the thing is it though <laughs> Yeah, so like there are people that like they know it's wrong, so they don't do it. Yeah, but they 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 still feel that it's so bizarre, and it's just fucking crazy. Yeah, because like it's fucked bro, up. You never know One. who you walk by, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you could be walking. Like I saw a post. Like, it was like I wonder how many houses I've drove by that have bodies in the basement. Yeah, that like you don't know. Do you hear about that house that was just found, like? With like a thousand guns in it. Yes, bro. <laughs> that boy was packing. Yeah, he, he was, was, he was selling, selling and manufacturing them. Making yeah. them. What the fuck? Yeah, that's that's crazy. And it wasn't like in a neighborhood that they were like a bag is a bag, bro. Uh, what the fuck? And apparently he had like shit from like revolutionary type weapons up to like fucking AKs and mm-hmm. <laughs> all this other shit. Well, like guns aren't hard to make if you know how to make them and know mm-hmm. where to get the parts from. You can do whatever you want, like. Yeah. You know, Marines, they're trained to take apart like any yeah, any yeah. any armed forces. That yeah. In boot camp, you take you apart know. your weapon, you put it together. Mm-hmm. There's a test for it. See, so, you, people you that call for gun it? control, mm-hmm. right? What do you feel about gun control? It's weird. I like I'm kind of split on it, right? I believe that we should still have guns, right? Because the Second Amendment is not for hunting or whatever. It's our last defense against a tyrannical government. That's mm-hmm. what it's for, that if the government were ever to turn on us, we can defend ourselves against the government. However, right now, a lot of kids are dying because of these guns and shit, right? Mm-hmm. But I think the halfway solution is stricter gun, gun laws, right? Not a complete ban. See, but that's the just thing, though. Psych, psych what is tests, the law? Psych evaluations before fucking you can buy a gun, I mm-hmm. think, is something that they should do. Because remember that one guy that like had... I think yeah. it was the dude with Las Vegas. He had like... He had mad guns, yeah. And I know what you're talking about. He also, but also, that doesn't stop wait, wasn't street, like, street guns. Yeah, exactly. That's around. another thing. Like, people on the streets are still going to get like, guns. It's still... Kids that are, are 16, 15 still have nines and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, Where are that's, they getting that's, them from? That's the old, other part of the argument. Because, like, what then? You know? Mm-hmm. And There's no complete if, solution for anything. Yeah, like, maybe... Everybody's going to have a way around it. Like, right now, they... You know, the Trump administration banned bump stocks. But yeah, that's but that kinda, doesn't really do nothing. That's Yeah, yeah, but that's one step. But I don't know how, what should we should ban. Should we, maybe we should ban, like, assault, like, ARs and shit to, like, civilians. Maybe if they do a test or whatever the fuck. I don't know. But maybe allow people to get, like, hunting rifles, pistols, that shit. So you know? just, so. Something that can't just full on just massacre. Well, ARs fucking, don't even have. Like, you can get ARs that are semi-automatic. Mm. Well, yeah, you can't even have an actual... Yeah, automatics are, yeah. are no-go. Yeah, that's why bump stocks are a thing. Yeah, but, like, bump stocks, they just stabilize, like, where you're shooting at. It just makes it easier to aim. That's it makes it faster. Like. That's what that's what it does. Like, does it? Yeah, like, if you like, attach it and it... I don't know how it works exactly. Like, if when you hit pull the trigger, it, like, pushes it back at a faster rate. Or some sh- I don't know how it works. Is that it? But yeah, I know I, I, I seen I seen a video. I, an I seen a video of this dude. Uh, you know, I think it was before the ban mm-hmm. that he showed the difference between them. Yeah. and it's crazy. It's a crazy ass yeah. difference. Like this, the bullets were going brrr, like fast as yeah. fuck. 
But I don't know the actual solution because, you know. I there don't. is no right solution. There, yeah, there's Everybody's no... solution is right if you believe it. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the thing that's so hard. Like, I couldn't be a politician, bro. Oh my god! I could not be. That's too much. That's it's too much lot. to deal with. Yeah, you have to. If you got, if you're gonna believe or say something, you, you gotta, gotta believe that shit. You, you can't gotta just... believe it, or you gotta be like a real big bullshitter. Lindsey Graham, Mitch McConnell, Trump. <laughs> I'm gonna act like I know all of those names. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they get. They're, they're they're in the Senate. They're Republicans, bro. They, Mitch McConnell, he is such a scumbag. Like. He, for the longest time, did not approve any of Obama's, uh, like, judges or whatever the fuck. His bills? No, no, like, judges that he was oh, going to Oh, he was going to. Yeah, yeah okay. or some shit like that. And, but Trump, now that he's nominating people and shit. He's putting them through. He's breaking the rules, in fact. He's trying to fast, like, fast track it. He's trying to, like, go past all the actual regulation. And he's been bending the rules to, like, bend isn't, it. Isn't the, the Supreme Court, like, mainly Republican right now? Or, mm-hmm. or I have no idea. You don't know? No, I just know shit that's been going on between the House, the Senate, and you know all the shit Trump does. Yeah. See, I don't really keep up on politics because you know I don't like. I mean, like I probably should. Yeah, it's all it's but, everywhere. It's everywhere. Like, I just I just I love don't it. like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody's stupid, bro. Everybody's <laughs> I know. Stupid. I know. It's just it's so interesting to me. That's why I like it. Like it's, it's just, like it's, so it's like to a point where like I'm like maybe I should step up there, but then like nah, <laughs> like, like you know when like. Like Thanos is like, I'll do it myself. Mm. Like, but like, I can, I'm not. That ain't for me, bro. Nah. That ain't for me. I'm not getting assassinated because I said I like this. It's a miracle Trump hasn't been assassinated. That's yet. however. Is it a miracle however, though? Nah, because the people, the people that be doing assassination, <coughs> I feel like in this race, maybe not the liberals, because a lot of like the liberal snowflakes, need another, as they say. What, what, what was his name? Arvillo Grinsip. Who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Archduke Franz Ferdinand, bro, the dude know. that died and basically started World War One. I. <laughs> I don't know because he assassinated Archduke Franz Ferdinand, and that started the whole. You know, I barely know shit World about. I barely know shit about World War One. Oh, World War All this about politics. World War Two is where, bro. World War Two is going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I know some shit about World War One. But yeah. not a whole lot. It's just. Jonathan could go on for days talk about history, bro. Yeah, I love history. It's just, but you know what's gonna happen, bro? Hmm. In like seventy five years, everybody's gonna look back at now and be like, "I know what that the was fuck." History. Yeah. Who knows? But who knows where this is gonna, gonna lead? Yeah. Who to? knows what side is gonna win? Because imagine a civil war. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think about this shit all the time. Imagine if some what would what would have to happen. Something so drastic would have to happen for there either to be a civil war, a race war, or like um, a complete overthrow of the office. Like people, like mm-hmm. I think if people rallied it, like to, like I think we would have to have a full blown dictatorship for pull him out of office. Well, it's getting pretty close. <laughs> yeah. Like, from like all the stuff you, that's you know, been going on. This dude saying that uh he should he that he tech he should technically have two more extra years because he feels like the Democrats stole two years of his presidency. How? <laughs> yeah. He, but like the sh- like the shit that they just been giving him. Bro, you know? I don't know, bro. But like this man This dude says he 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 wanna be like the first president for life. That's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I don't know how true that one is. I don't know if he actually said that or if that was like taken out of context. I don't know. People got issues, but yikes, <laughs> bro! How would you feel if like you ran for president and straight backwood hillbilly, no shirt, straight overalls was one. the only people that would show up at your rally? Oof. It's kind of what Trump's. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's kind of what Trump's been. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, does that not make you reflect on what crowd you're drawing in? But the thing, he knows, bro. He knows because he's manipulating them. I know. And he didn't he even say before, like the '90s yes, or the '80s, that if he ran for president, he would run Republican because they're idiots. He said that shit way before. And nobody looks at that, bro. No one gives a fuck. I I honestly, 
I want to know why. Like, I know a lot of people voted him before because of the whole job thing. Well, like, you but heard... now people there was well, he's failing in Ho- yeah in Ho- in Ho- Ohio <laughs> in Ho- Ohio the fucking he told people like long like a while ago not to sell their houses because they were gonna you know I guess the value was gonna go back up and. So I guess some <laughs> listened to this bitch and didn't move out. And now they're like, it's comp- nothing really. It's worth nothing. Yeah. And there's this politician going crazy that he was saying that like 600 workers got like a message saying that they were going to be, they were laid off and shit. Just, yeah. You know how companies are. Bro, that's, America's crazy, bro. We yeah. Got- we could go on forever, bro. We've, we've been going on for like an hour. Yeah. What time is it? Yep. Yeah. So. Politics is interesting. It's crazy. I don't know. You said you had a topic. Yeah, I, I could. So, did you hear about this H three drama that's been going on? No, bro. Oh, yes, I'm, I was so glad that you said that because I cannot wait to tell you the tea. So, I got this video. All right, the H three video that they uploaded. Where the fuck my mouse at? Is that even there it is? Yeah. So we're gonna watch put the headphones on. We're gonna watch this video real quick. All right. That way you can see what started all this shit. What started what? Instagram versus reality. Yes. It's it's good. Have you guys ever browsed Instagram and wondered why everyone looks so beautiful? Why does everyone have such a perfect life? Why is everyone having so much fun? Has perfect skin, is always laughing and smiling. You can never hear why it. is my life so boring? As I sit here in my underwear covered in breadcrumbs, sad and alone. Why? I'll tell you why. Because they're faking it. We need to understand collectively, nobody's that happy. We are all miserable. They're just so much better at faking it. And you know what they're doing? They're making all this feel even worse. That's why today I am proud to present to you one of the best subreddits in the game, Instagram Reality, where they take a snippet from someone's Instagram or social media and show you the actual reality behind the post. Today, I guarantee you that you will be feeling better, more confident. We need to embrace that and lift ourselves up in the knowledge that we are all ugly, pathetic monsters that just wanna eat McDonald's every day. So this is a shot of people from Coachella this year. This is a dystopian future. Everybody's gone to this event, but they're not really there to be at the event. They're there to get pictures of them at the event. Worth noting though that this guy filming is on his phone as well, but you know, some things are worth capturing. If you're an influencer that does not go to Coachella, do you actually exist? I'm gonna skip around. This is a picture from California. It's taken, you know, it's a 10 minute video. We could be here like. Yeah. But anyways, he starts comparing a couple YouTubers to their Instagram versus Bro, reality. You can't fool All yourself, right. man. The one on the left is in the VIP area. The one on the right is in the P area. I don't know what that means. One of the left. Right here. Let's get a grip here. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this girl Look at that. is the <laughs> of Instagram reality. They're that, look, how, why do you, why are you? She does like, like videos where she like puts shit on, on her. Like what? Like, like I swear I saw a video where she was like, I put fake cum on me. Oh, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I swear. I know she does this crazy stuff. But she did. She has her own YouTube channel. Not the best. Would people even recognize her if they saw her on the street? I mean, she's crazy. This is Coachella versus throwing down in the McDonald's parking lot at 3 a.m. This is Coachella versus World Star Hip Hop. No, no. <laughs> that cannot be the same person. Dude, Coachella versus open casket funeral. <laughs> oh, damn. Tana's looking pretty good these days. Oh, <laughs> that's wild. That's that? not real. That's real, bro. Because she posted that on her Insta story, but she posted that on her Instagram. You know? She posted this on her story. Yeah. But that on her gram. Yeah, that's the rumor. Truly nothing wrong with this photograph at all. But, 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 this is all right, natural so beauty. You pretty much get the point because that was the main that was the main part that I wanted you to see. Okay. Because that girl, Trisha. The the white girl. Yes, this one right here. Yes. She was upset. <laughs> Yo, this shit was so good. And I was gonna pull the tweets up, bro, but she 
holy shit, there's literally hundreds of fucking tweets on her hundreds. shit. Hundreds. Bro, I don't even, I didn't count, bro, because there's so fucking many. There's so many tweets that she talked about this fucking thing. But anyways, to get the, give you the gist of it, she basically tweeted out, like, um, delete this video, you're disgusting, like, uh, I was suicidal between the ages of, like, 14, 15, or whatever, because of shit like this, and all this other stuff, and she she tweeted at his wife. His pregnant wife. At Ela. Yeah, Ela, And was like, you should divorce him for it to, for to be like, why would you want your baby to be raised by such a like disgusting person and all that? And he had a joke that was, I thought was hilarious because he talked about it on his podcast. Mm-hmm. He was like, yes, because, you know, having divorced parents would definitely be better for the child. <laughs> <laughs> and but anyways, um, he did kind of reply, you know, uh, I don't think I have it here, but. Um, he replied just, you know, it's whatever, but he, he was basically saying like, it's a joke, it's comedy, you know, yeah. I didn't actually, like he was saying that sure, it was probably a little bit mean to, um, it was at her expense. He acknowledged all this on his podcast and, but he didn't really say, say sorry. He didn't you know. Why would well, I mean, he? Why like, would he? It's the internet, bro. Exactly. But this blew Pe- up, bro. This like, was trending on Twitter, I think. Like, she was upset. She made a whole video. It was like twenty minutes of her crying, and uh, he found. So she does this a lot, yeah. and this is why he was like, he didn't really care because he thought that she kind. Of, he said that deep down, she probably enjoyed all this because her it's thing is attention. to be extra, you know. Mm-hmm. So she was making this whole video with her crying, and on her kitchen floor of all places, and. She was just saying basically the same shit. Like she, he's disgusting, and something that I caught right away. Uh, she said that he called her a monster, and I was like, nowhere in that did he say that. Like you saw the clip, he didn't yeah. say she was a monster at all, and yeah, that's what she was saying. And the internet came to Ethan's defense. Really? Yes, they actually were like, so in her video, right? In her video, she linked to the H3's video uh, in, the, in the description. And in the comments of H3's video, apparently there was a lot of people that came over and they were like, I came over to hate on you. But then I saw the video and I was like, that's funny. And she just took this out of her foot. Like she was yeah. being extra as she is, I guess. I don't know. People do anything to get attention, bro. Yeah. It was, it was just interesting because but it's... it's it was stupid. It was bizarre. And mm-hmm. I don't know. If you're going to get mad about everybody, you know, people talking about you on the internet. Why are you on the internet? Yeah. That's 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 what I was about to say. Like, I'm sure people have said worse things. Yeah. And apparently on this podcast, he said that there was a joke that he thought was funny, but Ela didn't let him say because apparently it was like so bad. Yeah. And he said like looking back at it yet. I mean, it, it would have made it worse. Yeah. So, I mean... Who knows what the fuck he was gonna say, but I'd and, like to know. Yeah. Because I probably would have laughed. Like, <laughs> yeah, I would have laughed too. So more YouTube sh- dra- bro, there's been a lot of sh- YouTube drama recently. When do you think YouTube's gonna be on a downfall? That's like, a good question. to where a new platform picks up. Somebody has to make a platform for videos. I mean, Twitch kind of is their competitor, but not really at the same same way because it's yeah. live. Yeah, that's streaming. That's mm-hmm. that's different. But yeah, there's no really big player. Let's Somebody would have to make tube, something bro. revolutionary. Let's make my tube. My tube? Yeah. I feel like we'd fucking get copyrighted. What the fuck? Why? That's not copyright. Isn't it? Oh, no, it's not because there's like red tube and shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm mad that you used that example. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, this, oh my God, this story is amazing. So this dude named Pro Jared on his YouTube. Mm-hmm. You haven't heard about this? No, bro. All right. I haven't so, been up on nothing, all right, bro. bro. So, on his Twitter, he's he was the small, not small, but he had a million subscribers. Not as big yeah, as yeah. these other crazy people. But the, it was up crazy because he had so little subscribers compared to all these other people. But it was trending on Twitter for like nearly two days, right? Mm-hmm. This whole story. So, what happened? This dude tweeted out, right, that him and his wife were getting a divorce and that he, you know, basically just that, that. Yeah. It was that there may be rumors about him or some shit. I don't know. And not too long, or so a little bit after that, there was a 
a woman that commented on it and was like, I'm so sorry to hear this. Uh, I hope that um, I'll, I'm here for you or whatever. Like, you'll get through it or whatever. And then later on, his wife tweeted out and he's like, I didn't even know he tweeted this because he blocked me. And then she was saying, we divorced because he's been like sending nudes to like other women and a lot of underage women. No. Yes. Like he was sending them. His dick pics are all over the internet now. It, it was it, it was everywhere, all of his dick pics, all of all of them, bro. Like they're every. What kind of YouTuber lot, was he? I think he just did like some, I don't know, like some comedy shit. Okay. Know? And he was like sending them to like underage girls, and I guess the the I guess victims, I guess you could call mm-hmm. them. They were the ones who released the pictures that he sent to them, and that's when it blew up, because this dude. It was fucking hilarious. This dude tweeted out before saying, saying there might be that we're rumors. getting divorced and blocked his wife, his ex-wife, I guess, and then <laughs> said all this shit. And now his his last time I checked, his subscriber count was like around eight hundred thousand. Oh, I we should look this shit up. Wow. Yeah, he had like over a million, and. His shit just been dropping, but yeah, this was everywhere, everywhere. Like, and it's dropping now. Yeah, people would not oh my stop gosh. talking about <laughs> this dude. Like he lost a hundred thousand in a day. No way. Yeah, and R.I.P. I guess. R.I.P. I guess. <laughs> that's fucked up though. Yeah, it is fucked up. Like that's like what we was talking about earlier mm-hmm, with the pedophilia. Yeah, like it's in his head. Yeah. But what can they do? I mean, like he had a wife, bro. Exactly. Like, just oh, ask her I for some tell you the juiciest part. The juiciest part, right? Uh huh. Give me that. Is she tweeted out to the woman that said, "I'm sorry this happened to you," because that was the girl he was cheating with. No. <laughs> the girl he was cheating with commented, "I'll help you through this. Sorry this is happening," knowing she was the cause for this. No yes. way. Yes, that's, that's what made it all so. Yo. Fucking dramatic. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my it gosh. Was he not hilarious. Even, he is ugly, bro. He ugly as shit, bro. He there's so many memes, bro. He looked like a bird. He looked like a worm with some hair. Like <laughs> like like earth earthworm gene. Like yeah. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Oh my gosh, bro. And <laughs> uh on oh H3's gosh. podcast he talked about it too. He was saying that um <laughs> the name Jared's kind of been ruined. Because yeah. <laughs> first you have fucking Jared from Subway. Subway. <laughs> now this dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. And so, I mean, that's kind of where that story ends there. He said he was stepping away from social media for a little bit. Well, I mean, like. And so, imagine coming back and his subscriber counts like that. <laughs> Bro, I bet you he's watching it. He has Maybe. to be. That's, that's his. That's his money income bro yeah he's officially canceled he's yeah. officially canceled and that's it go get a real job speaking of more youtube drama and cancellation fucking james charles canceled this so this the beauty community right mm-hmm. there was this uh woman named there's toddy toddy yeah t-a-t-i okay she has a she's a makeup channel you know as well and she was like really good friends with James Tar, right? Like he ha- like this is the context that you gotta get right. She actually helped him start his career, like way before. Like she, you know, she has like six mil subs. Yeah. But now he has like sixteen mil. Well, not anymore. It's kind of been going down. Oh. Out, uh-huh. out but she called him out. It was a whole. I was gonna watch the video, but then I found it was a forty-five minute video. Oh, yeah, no, no. I was like, yeah, no, I'll get the highlights. Ah. <laughs> I'll get the highlights. But she was basically saying. Um, that he was just that he was gross, like at at her wedding or something like that. That he was saying stuff about like what he would do to the waiter, and she was like, "He's straight," and she's like, "Doesn't matter, I'm a celebrity." That's what he was saying. And apparently, he, what she exposed him on was that apparently he does this a lot. Like he goes after straight guys, and he like kind of like harasses harasses them, them and like kind of makes them doing gay shit <laughs> what do you mean like makes them i he was saying that he uses his power like she was saying that he uses power and like his fame and stuff 
somehow i don't know i didn't i don't, I don't know how exactly you yeah, could yeah. force someone to you know like do some gay stuff if he came up to me and was like let me eat you but i'd be like <laughs> <laughs> well if it's i'll give you like five thousand dollars <laughs> <laughs> I think I she said I think I heard something about like she was saying that she was gonna ruin like their lives like their careers yeah. or something and I guess it was like sort of like a blackmail thing and she was saying that no matter what sexual orientation you are it, you shouldn't be forced into yeah no that. that's not cool at all yeah like, and so he's been canceled his subscriber count's been going down he yeah. lost four hundred thousand in a day wow he lost he he has the mo- the record for like the most lost in a day actually let's pull up his his sub count all or, right over on the top of this hold up. Look at that. He had 16 mil before this, and it's still going down. Oh, well, yeah, you can see. The dip. The... Damn, it, it's going to go. Wow. Yeah, so this dude, he kind of canceled. <laughs> that joint is dropping, bro. Yeah, it's going down quick. Holy shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> this is... <laughs> So, watch this shit zero two minutes. <laughs> yeah, no. I asked Katira, right? Because she was she was a fan of James Charles. Uh-huh. And she's going to be on the podcast soon, by the by. Uh, but I asked her about her opinion on this. And she was like, she's kind of split. Because like, she, she believes everything that people are saying about him. But she still thinks that he's like a good person. That he, he, she likes him, you know? Mm-hmm. And I can get that, you know, you're a fan of James Charles. and It's kind of like the Michael Jackson controversy. Yeah, same thing. More or less, mm-hmm. but oh, and another thing that they're saying that some of these dudes that he was like kind of pressuring and shit were underage, but the you know kind of the fact that he's nineteen doesn't you know yeah. it's not that big a deal depending on how underage. <laughs> yeah, if, it's it, like, if it's like a seventeen year old, it's like fifteen. That's wild. We got an issue. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. But like seventeen, I maybe nah, that's two years. You nineteen? Yeah, two years. What is that like? Graduated high school. You dating a senior? Yeah, maybe. A junior, <laughs> people that date seniors that date freshmen now though they're weird, they're weird. They're weird. I didn't like when I was a freshman and I heard about that. I was like, that's still weird, but it wasn't, it wasn't that, as weird it wasn't as weird. it is our perspective but, now. Yeah, imagine dating a freshman, bro. I know, bro. Fourteen, yeah, straight out of middle school. Exactly, bro. No, no. 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 so like, y'all that, weird. Y'all weird. Y'all weird. If you're dating a y'all freshman, pedophiles. Y'all, yeah, if you're dating a freshman, you're weird. Goofy. Goofy. Clown. Clown. Oh yeah, and apparently Pro Jared's Instagram account, all of his shit is just fucking clown emojis. No. Just calling him a clown and shit. But yeah, they've been killing him. But yeah, a couple YouTubers been ma- canceled. Wow, bro. Yep. 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 Mm-mm. Oh, I don't know what else. I think that might be all the drama that might have happened. But uh any thoughts? <laughs> Bro. Social media killing everybody. Twitter tag talk. Twitter tag talk. Yeah, just to, I just like to see what's going on. Okay, okay. Oh shit. This is new. She said, Can I be on your podcast? Oh, oh shit! And he said before or after my wife yeah. divorces me. So that's obviously a clear no. But still, would still, you, would you have let her on? Hell no, yo, I'm not no, because that shit. Oh, if she if she ever got on, it'd be so cringy. Because what would she say, right? Because she would just she would just go there and attack him, right? Or would she, you know, kind of be like how Jake Paul was? Yeah, where you don't really try to. You're be, just chilling. Yeah, because. You know, it's not your it it It's not like me being like, oh, you a fat bitch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even say that. I know, that's what I'm say saying. Like, it's not you like, gotta look at it, bro. Look at this dude. Not, I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, this man makes fun of himself <laughs> for a living, too. Yeah, like... <laughs> oh. But this... this, I, I, I can't wait to see this develops, because that is amazing. Whew. Anyways, let's see the moments. What's going on right now? Anything... Oh, this Constance Wu. This had me rolling. All right. So her show, or not her show, but like a show she's on mm-hmm. got renewed for a sixth season. Yeah. And she tweeted this. Why? <laughs> <She's>, <laughs> she tweeted this. She doesn't want to be on it, I guess. And then, then quit. People were fucking flipping out. 
And then, you know, more shit coming out. And then eventually, she apologized. Here we go. This is the apology. She eventually tweeted this after people were like, you ungrateful bitch and shit like that. Damn. So she got hit with. She was on crazy. No celebrity is allowed to have an opinion, bro. I know. How do you feel about that? People were people were like about celebrities not having an opinion. Yeah. Or like, yeah. It's kind of fucked. Like that people just expect. That. On my last podcast, uh, there was this clip of Offset. He he had an arrest warrant out on him because he because he hit a phone. He hit a phone. He broke it, and that's re- stupid. It's stupid because you can't well, just I mean, go up and record someone. Like this dude was just like, I'll at least ask. You know what I mean? I think yeah. you should at least ask. Yeah, just be like, can I get a picture with you real quick? Yeah, and if they say no, then. You can't do nothing about it. Sneaking out. Well, that he wasn't being slick about it. I know, I know. He was like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Nah, I'd be like, (laughs) and then out. But um, yeah, no, I feel like there's a respect thing to it. But like, don't if I'm if I'm not happy with something that's going on. Don't, don't tell me I'm ungrateful. Yeah, yeah like, like we, we don't even know the situation. Yeah, like, why they might be that. assholes to her. Exactly. Who knows? Some people are thinking like maybe it's because like uh, after Crazy Rich Asians that maybe she's just trying to get more movie deals and maybe this kind of interferes the show with that. Is stopping it because it's yeah, it's time. And she's there by contract because yeah. you have to be, I guess. But yeah, this this shit was funny as fuck because who 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 <laughs> just says this? who says this. <laughs> And people were saying, like, their publicists must be flipping right now. They yes. must be fucking going balls I... off the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Review for John Wick 3. Bro, Can't wait to watch that. Bro, you ever watched watch it? Bro, bro. I just recently started John Wick 2. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. I love them. I thought, I thought they, were they, were they were pretty good. I like John Wick 1, so, like, I know I like it. Yeah. But, like. John Wick 3 looks pretty, pretty yeah, good. It looks so yeah, I feel like it's gonna be really like a really good yeah. action. This movie. is the last one, isn't it? I don't know if it's the last one. I hope not. I hope, I hope not. to find a way. I hope there's like seven of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got Fast and Furious type shit. Yeah, that that franchise has gone to shit. I feel yeah. like just because like Wait, what's the I never watched what's them. the Rock and uh, yeah Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah, yeah. But like it's gone so off the rails because it started off with the racing and then eventually it got to nuclear to arms movie. like nuclear shit yeah. and it was just a car movie and yeah. now it turned into a whole like yeah, superhero people, yeah people are saying it's borderline superhero movie yeah now, but hey. who's holding on to a car in a helicopter exactly damn well Dwayne, you ain't that strong oh, no. i mean my mom likes it <laughs> <laughs> uh maybe i'll give it a try uh and some game of thrones yeah a bunch of people have been naming their kids after game of thrones characters of course they are. Yeah. But um, that's about it for that. Uh, you should really get into Game of Thrones, but I think you like it. So it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of drama. A lot of drama. Yeah, it's it's and it has good action. Like um the one of the recent episodes, the the long night, the battle sequence mm-hmm. was longer than the one in Lord of the Rings that was like super long. I don't remember yeah. what it was called because I never watched Lord of the Rings. But you but, watched Game of Thrones. Yeah. It was fake, bro. <laughs> I might I, I might watch Lord of the Rings just because you know, Rings is good. Kind of like the fantasy aspect of Game of Thrones. It's good. And I hear Lord of the Rings was good. Well, those were some really long books, too. Yeah. yeah. There's a movie coming out about the dude who wrote them. Tolkien. Oh, yeah? Tolkien. Like, a doc- like not documentary. Yeah, it's kind of like, like the Steve Jobs movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, like, that. Like, a, like a biography movie. Yeah, it's talking okay. about his life. Yeah. To play the, the dude that plays Beast in X-Men. Oh, for real? Like the current one. Yeah, yeah. Yo, that, that Dark Phoenix looked good. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I I'm look I'm gonna watch it. Look forward to it. However, uh, in the previous movies, I didn't like Sophie Turner as Dark Phoenix. She really didn't do much. No, the thing is, I'm not hating on on Sophie Turner because I love her in Game of Thrones. <laughs> All right, she's she's great in that. I just didn't like her Dark Phoenix. Maybe this Dark Phoenix in this movie is gonna be a whole different flip because it looks it looks interesting. It's gonna be Dark Phoenix being Dark Phoenix going yeah. all. Crazy Phoenix and Force, shit. yeah. Which I, there's some problems with that, by the way, because before in the other movie she already had the Phoenix Force. So you're telling me now is when she gets the thing? And they showed Mystique like dying like right away. Yeah, but like and, that's the question now. And in an interview, she said that everybody in that movie dies, which hopefully isn't true. But but that could lead into the main MCU. But it could make sense because like that's probably gonna be like the last movie. 
you know, because that was the last movie under Fox. Spider-Man needs more information. What? <laughs> like I need more villain? More, I need more information. Spider-Man on the uh, Spider-Man Far From, Far From Home. Home. Yes. Mysterio is going to be... He looks awesome, first of all. His suit yeah. looks amazing. Jake Gyllenhaal as well. Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal. It's Gyllenhaal. Is it Gyllenhaal? I'm pretty sure it's Gyllenhaal. I don't think so, bro. Jake Gyllenhaal. Hey, Google. How old is Jake Gyllenhaal? Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal is 38 years old. I have her set in Australian accent, so... Oh, yeah? Oh, well, <laughs> Australian, too. <laughs> well, whatever. Gyllenhaal, Gyllenhaal, GIF, GIF, whatever the fuck. It's GIF. It is GIF. Okay. I'm glad we can agree on that. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, that... It looks good. However, he might be lying because we know he's lying. He said, um, "Well, about that, but people think he's lying about the whole multiverse as a whole." People think you think so? Yeah, because well, I don't know for sure. Because he says that this Earth that he came to in that universe is six one six, which is the comic universe, mm-hmm. and unofficially, the MCU has been rumored or has been like said to be. Universe 199,999. Yeah, yeah, that long ass number for no reason. <laughs> yeah. And I, you know, it's so who knows? Did you know it's been confirmed that all end game spoilers? Yeah. Go, yeah. All right. <laughs> well, the, the spoiler ban went away. Like, I know, like a week Monday, ago. Monday, yeah. But like, what was I going? Oh, the Russo brothers confirmed that when Captain America did go back in time, mm-hmm. that it was a different timeline and yeah. it was a different Peggy. Yeah. Yeah, because he couldn't go back to the I'm movie. mad he gave that shit to Falcon, though. <laughs> yeah. That should have been Bucky, bro. Yeah. I felt like it should have been Bucky, too. Bucky ain't have shit to say, but, like, they said, like, he, he already knew about it, blah, yeah. blah. But, like, fuck that. I know. I wanted because it would have been And I'm mad he ain't do more shit in Endgame neither. Winter Soldier? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, my man popped out of the cut. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. it. You have a whole arm that's like mass strong. You have Super Soldier Serum. Why ain't you fuck up Thanos? <laughs> I know. But I, I will never get over Endgame. That movie was so, so good. I can't amazing, wait till it bro. comes out on Disney+. Plus. I'm so signing up for that. It's like seven bucks a month. Yeah. With all of Disney's library. Oh my. God, I only hope they have old Disney shows like that's so raven and shit like that. Imagine. I would love for that, but who knows? Even then, when the Marvel movies come out, that'll be great. Yeah, it's supposed to be out in like December or something like that. But hey, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Yeah, I don't know. Disney's gonna come up right what now. Time is it? It's five oh six. What time do you say? Pretty soon. Oh shit, my bad. No, it's all good. I'm having fun. All right. <laughs> and, uh, uh, what'd you just say? Like, about the MCU? Disney is oh, part yeah, of the yeah, Monopoly, yeah. bro. Yeah. I swear. They're about to beat Avatar, which they also own. Didn't Endgame beat Avatar, though? Not yet. It's supposed to. I thought it did. Not yet. I don't think it did yet. It's supposed to do it, like, by Monday. For real? Mm-hmm. It's supposed to beat it by Monday. Endgame is the greatest game. <laughs> I'm gonna just shut up now. I said game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. the future of the MCU is. So some people think if the, multi, if the multiverse thing is real, that they think that was kind of the cause of time travel. That where Mysterio came from was an alternate timeline. And that's what happened. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because remember when Loki got away? Mm-hmm. Where's that Where'd timeline? Where'd he go? Yeah. yeah. What'd he do in that timeline? Oh, another thing. They could easily fix uh, Captain America being old. Because remember, they made Ant-Man a baby and shit? I know. They could just do that shit with him. Like, you put the time... But no, no, no. But Tony Stark said that was dangerous. It is dangerous, but Ant-Man because was cool. it's pushing time through the person. Shut yeah. the fuck up, Tony. No, right. He didn't even want to do this shit. I, also, I always find it hilarious that they always make things seem so simple. Like, he, he was just like, I figured it out. And like, what? Time travel. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, man, the Mobius strip, you know, just. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, that movie had me in my in my bag. Though. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you what. I was about to cry at the beginning of the movie. 
at the beginning. Because <laughs> as soon as they introduced his daughter, bro, mm. I was like, I was like, I know they're gonna go back in time, and she's gonna get erased from the timeline, and it's gonna be sad. So I was like, <laughs> but uh, but no, turns out he died. Yep, whack, whack. It's, but I also it's, it's don't understand, that. bro. How come Hawk took mad pressure just to snap his fingers, and Iron Man was just like, "Yeah, I know, right?" What up, Disney? People have been calling so many plot holes with the whole cap appearing on the bench thing. Who fixed the shield? That's, I think what happened is because he went back to his time, so he just so got it's a different shield. Yeah, it just bro. A, when I seen his shield, shield break, I said, "Yeah." I was like, "Oh, Thanos fucking that shit." Because that's by brain. What is bro. that shit made out of? His weapon. Yeah, that's the question, bro. What if but that's what that space it, metal, bro? Yeah. What if now they can say it was like adamantium? Because that's originally what Captain Shield was made out of in the comic books. It was originally adamantium. Oh, was it? I thought it was always yes. adamantium. Nope. It was originally adamantium. Mm. Because then after that, they did the Weapon X program. Because Captain America is technically the first trial of the Weapon X program. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They were trying to recreate... But y'all didn't know that. They were trying to recreate Wolverine's uh, regen. Mm-hmm. And, and is he the first one? Yeah, he's the first because that's the super soldier serum. They, okay. they they perfected that, but then it was like, we like could do better. That. Yeah, like, we could do yeah. better. He was like trial one, mm. and then Logan is ten. That's why it's Weapon X. Oh yeah, yeah, right, right, right. right. Yeah. Because he already had his claws. They just made it metal. Yeah. That's right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they just added adamantium to a skeleton. Right, right, right. Got it. And then Wade, you know, Deadpool. Yeah, same bro. thing, kind of there. They fucked Deadpool up, bro. <laughs> The Disney said that they're not going to change anything with Deadpool, thankfully. Yeah. So they need to add him to the MCU, though. You know how much? Hell yeah! All the movies would be rated R, though. Yeah, unfortunately. Maybe, but except maybe, he'd be like, I mean, that might help. Yeah, yeah, what if, yeah. Because he knew it was in a PG thirteen yeah. movie. It's like, sorry. What the fuck, Ryan Reynolds? Everybody be like, who the fuck are you talking to? You gonna watch uh, Detective Pikachu? Bro, I don't know. You know they're trying to start a cinematic universe with that. What? Are you they're dead trying, ass? They're trying to make Pokemon a cinematic universe. I heard. Which might lead to the Super Smash Bros. Because <laughs> Sonic <laughs> coming out. Oh, shit. That's true. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck Could you imagine how bro. stupid that movie would be, bro? Sonic or like the Smash Bros? The Smash Bros. <laughs> just a giant hand floating in the air. Oh, my fucking God. What, what was it? Master Glove? Some shit. I don't know, bro. What do you think about the Sonic thing, by the way? I'm glad they're remaking it. How different do you think it's going to be? It I don't think it's be gonna, fucking different. I don't think it's going to be that different. Maybe, maybe bigger be. eyes. Yeah. Less human teeth. That scared me, bro. I didn't one. like when I seen that. When it was like, ah, I was like, oh. Nope, didn't like it. Like on a scale from like that to E.T., how bad? <laughs> Maybe like a six. <laughs> not not quite E.T., but yeah. I feel you. But uh, Should we I wrap think it it's up that soon? time. All right. Uh, it's been a blast. Hope you yes, enjoyed listening yes. to us talking about bullshit. Thank you for having me on here. Yeah, we'll do it again. I'd like to come back. Cause I've been saving a bunch of Instagram videos. I don't know who I'm going to show them to. Mm-hmm. I'm saving them. I'm saving them. He said, I got I, it. I, I save them just in case like we don't have anything to talk about. But yeah. we filled the time up quick. Yeah. As fuck. But uh, thank you for watching, everyone. So, peace out, I guess. Deuces.